Hi once again everyone, this is the Football Shirt Archive Guy here, back with another video. Now, the idea for this video I've actually had on the back burner for a few months because I deliberately wanted to wait until October to do it because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and on the 23rd of October, when this video will be getting put out onto YouTube, it is Wear It Pink Day, so I thought for this video I would do a look at some of the pink football shirts in my collection, so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first pink shirt of four in this episode is going to be... It's the Scotland Women's Away shirt from 2019. Now, I haven't said this for absolutely ages, but... Let's take a closer look. Now this is actually the men's version of the Women's World Cup shirt from 2019 and the only difference that I can tell is the fit between the shirts with the women's one being a bit more fitted in at the waist. Now this shirt was actually used in the World Cup group game against Argentina where Scotland actually needed a win to qualify into the second phase and we are winning 3-0 at one point but even from being 3-0 up we somehow managed to do a Scotland and eventually draw 3-3 which actually eliminated us from the tournament. It was watching that game against Argentina where I actually saw this shirt for the first time and I absolutely loved it although I never actually thought I would actually get my hands on one because women's football shirts are produced nowhere near to the same numbers as men's shirts are produced but this is the best of both worlds actually being the men's fit and I have to say I absolutely love it Really good watermark on the front, the shades of pink being two-tone pink and with the black trim as well, it looks absolutely fantastic. Now I have to say that Adidas have made some absolutely fantastic Scotland national team jerseys for both the men's and the women's teams and I have to say that this one here is right at the top of the tree in my opinion. This one is getting 9 out of 10 from me. Okay, shirt number two of four, and this is a real favourite of mine. I absolutely love this shirt. It is the Real Betis third shirt from 2019. So again, let's take a closer look. got such a soft spot for Real Betis. I absolutely love Real Betis shirts, especially ones that are made by Kappa and ones that aren't sponsored. And also, because this is a pink shirt as well and I love pink football shirts, this ticks so many boxes. Now, I've already featured this shirt in one of my very, very early episodes for this channel. Uh, the 2019 Christmas wish list video, that's still really, really difficult to say, um, where I featured five shirts that I really wanted from that season and this shirt was one of them and thankfully I managed to get my hands on one of these beauties a couple of months ago. But there are so many fantastic elements to this shirt. The shade of pink, the green stripe with the pink Betis badge on it, the geometric pattern down the bottom of the green stripe and the green Kappa logos all in all. It makes this shirt easily a 9.5 out of 10 for me. Okay, shirt number 3 of 4 and this is definitely an unusual one. It is the Partick Thistle Away shirt from 2009. So, as always, let's take a closer look. Now this is definitely one of the more unusual designs in Scottish football history. I can't actually ever remember seeing any club in Scotland having a camouflage kit before, especially one that's coloured pink, black, white and grey. Now I have to say I think Puma have just pulled it off with this shirt. 
actually it's not bad at all I don't find it as bad as what people were saying when this shirt was first brought out I remember some of the newspaper articles and some people on the TV and the radio saying how terrible the shirt was but to be honest it's actually better than the Partick Thistle away shirt from the previous season which was this pink and grey hooped thing which really doesn't look good in my opinion at all. So I have to say with all that being said and the fact that it's also got long sleeves which I'm an absolute sucker for, I'm going to mark this 7.5 out of 10. And the final and most appropriate shirt of this episode is this Argentinos Junior Special Edition shirt from 2019. So as always, let's take a closer look. Now this absolutely beautiful shirt by Umbro actually has the breast cancer awareness pink ribbon and October 2019 actually on the chest which I find is a fantastic touch on an already amazing looking football shirt. Now this shirt was actually used at home in October 2019, Breast Cancer Awareness Month by Argentinos Juniors in a match against Arsenal de Sarandi which Juniors actually won 2-1. Now there are so many elements to this shirt that I absolutely love that I barely know where to start. Now obviously I've already mentioned the breast cancer awareness pink ribbon on the chest but also the two-tone pink within the shirt with the diagonal stripe going down the chest and the fact that they've left the red, white and blue on the Argentinos Juniors badge where I think it would have been very easy for Umbro to have made the badge pink as well but by keeping it the original red, white and blue colours it pops out really nicely from the shirt. It's a really really nice addition. So all in all I'm going to be giving this amazing shirt a 10 out of 10. Okay so that concludes the Wear It Pink episode of my YouTube channel The Football Shirt Archive Guy. I'd like to thank you very much again for watching and if you've enjoyed today's episode don't forget to leave a great big a great big like, a thumbs up for me, there's always that would help me an awful lot and if you haven't done already hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so when I do upload a new episode onto YouTube you will be notified. So thank you very much again for watching and I will see you again for another episode somewhere down the road. Take care.